I'm gassing up my car and I have nothing else to do with my life, so I think I'm going back to Logan Paul's house. Dodge the navigation! I found the Maverick car, or whatever have you. I would really like to get out, to get out of my car, and essentially just walk around. But I'm tired of getting arrested. I don't want to get arrested again because, I mean, it's kind of a stupid thing to get arrested for. Now, you may say to me, Paul, you're such a pussy. You didn't even get out of the car and actually go and mess around. But this is like my third time back at being at Logan's house. I actually talked to Mike. If you don't know who Mike is, go research their podcast and watch it. He's a very tall dude, six foot three or whatever. I met him in person, said hello, and shook his hand, but he said, no, you need to leave or whatever. Um, the reason why I didn't actually go out of my car right now is one, because I'm actually very, very loud in person. And two is like, I don't want to go back to jail because I mean, because doing all this shit is like my very first time that I was ever in jail. And it's like, now that I actually have like a really nice car, I don't. I don't want to give that up because like when I drove here the first time, I literally, I came here in an SUV, a uh, Ford Expedition, big ass SUV, and the city actually took it and repossessed it. And I never got that vehicle back. I actually had to pay them like $500. And now that I actually have like a very nice car, it's like, I don't want to risk losing this car. Just trying to, I guess in a word, collaborate with Logan, but actually like live there. And shit like that, but let me show you this my dream house. This is my dream house that I actually want to buy. It's very, very pretty. I don't know if you can see it because it's like 5 a.m. and the sun's not out yet. But is ha the house is literally it's got like a color scheme of like black and white, and it's funny because you know I'm black and white, and then it would really go with with my skin color or whatever but i mean first of all um i think that this fence would need a little bit of work it would need something more secure i guess um i need to call craig but i mean this would be pretty as hell and it's very very funny because it's like right up the street from logan's house um but i don't know i mean this this is this is if if this wasn't, the, and it's very nice on my feet because I don't have shoes on right now, and there's AstroTurf, and God bless it, that house is beautiful. Dibs on this house. Whoa, you can actually see it a lot better in with this camera. It's very, very nice, very, very pretty. Hopefully, I'm thinking in a few years, maybe, this is going to be my house. Um... I should say one of them. Look at my car, it even fits in so nice. Could you imagine that? Very pretty, very, very nice. Because Logan's like right up, right down that road. So I mean, it would be freaking hilarious for the entire YouTube community to, for me to actually just go ahead and move right here. Well, it's daytime now, and I don't know where I am, but I just came out of this here library right here. And I just edited a whole bunch of my videos to make sure that they're okay on the goddamn fucking bush on I'll pull it to that way. So now I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go back to Zoo Culture and like Bradley Martin, he's another YouTuber. So I can go ahead, go on up over that way and get a clean ass workout because I haven't worked out in weeks and it's getting freaking ridiculous on up over to this way.
So yeah, um, so you're Bradley Martin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good. I was wondering, how tall are you, first of all? Because goddamn, you're um, a big motherfucker. I don't know, man. I'm probably like, I think I'm like 6'9". Six 6'9", nine. Six nine, goddamn. Yeah, on a good day. <laughs> on a good day, 6'9". <laughs> If I didn't deadlift or uh, or squat, yeah, about six nine. <laughs> For real. For sure. Yeah. Right? I was wondering. So obviously you have like the zoo culture, everything. Yeah. I'm wondering how do you like design something for that? Like who do you like go to like to like do something like this? Uh, as far as what portion of it? Like designing things. Like you actually have zoo culture, like say on this here refrigerator right here. I'm wondering like zoo how culture design is something that I came up with, but it's it's just. Uh, that, I mean, to have it there, you just need to buy that certain insert for that. It's not, that's just like figuring out where you need to get that from. For real? Okay. Yeah. So the design I've had for a long time and then just putting it in different places is not, not difficult at all. Okay, for sure. Yeah. It's just, it's just knowing where they're, where to get the pieces at. Oh. Which is just like a bunch of phone calls and fucking Googling and shit. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Into himself. Well, that was horrifying. I was driving. And literally both of my forearms like cramped up and I had to like hold it right here and I was like, oh shit, oh shit. And then, and then I went to a Carl's Jr. Just straight up for the goddamn carbs, the vegetables, the protein, and that's just my excuse to eat fast food. So, woo, I swear to God, this is so unfair. It's like, granted, I'm not hating on Bradley Martin or Logan Paul. I mean, I love them. They're, like, fucking amazing. But it's like, fucking, I'm like a creator. And every single place that I work, I always get fired. And it's just like, YouTube's my only, like, I would believe way out to actually make an income to where I can benefit people's lives in a positive way and actually, like, create things. And, I, and like, you know, just basically get paid to be myself. But it's like... Feels like at this pace is never gonna happen, but I mean, it's gonna keep on pushing forward and uh, keep on being me. It just feels like it's illegal to be me, but screw it. But uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow at 2:45 p.m. Goodbye.